my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new live trading video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking today we are going to use the 20 pips a day strategy because after the two videos about the scalping on gold I think we need to refresh our memories about how to use the 20 pips a day strategy so right now uh, let me just go directly to the trades and I will start with the pound in ZD we can see that the pound in ZD is ranging a lot and let me just inform you something here that such market like that is completely not good we always want to avoid such market so don't try to bother looking for any setups in this, in this market because most likely you will end up wiping your account and having so many losses and the market is just gonna a wiper account and then you might, might be a, a, a later in profit so actually I really advise you all to avoid all the ranging markets which looks like that look at the big difference between this market here and this one here this is giving you a clear picture about how the market look like now and therefore we should know that this market is usually in good condition but recently only it has been ranging like this so I'm gonna do I'm going to avoid the pound in ZD as well as the pound AUD the pound AUD was going very well until we heard some news about the coronavirus and we can see that the market now is ranging too so much I mean we really don't want to trade at all in such market so I'm just looking here in the setups and hopefully I will find something that I can use actually for this video um, even the pound USD it has been falling I think that's due because the news about uh, uh, Prince uh, Charles has been uh, diagnosed with the coronavirus and he has been tested positive for it I think that was the reason the pound has been affected if I'm not mistaken so let's see what's gonna happen right right now I'm just looking for any good setups to enter and I'm just searching right front of you because I wanted to feel the experience about how we can find good setups for entering while using the 20 pips a day strategy now on the cat gpy we can notice here right now that we are actually we are having here a resistance level and right now i really don't think that the market is going to reverse from this point here what we can see here is a resistance this resistance level has been breaking out also as this one has been breaking out by this bullish breakout candle what seems like the candle is gonna continue its rising and gonna continue rising all the way up until it hit that res uh, resistance level right here right here so I think it's not not bad idea to start buying the pair let's just be sure that we are on the right level to start buying the pair and I'm gonna place the buy order right away the thread has been placed um, for some reasons there is some technical issues I think come on oh come on it's a really good entry don't do this to me now I'm not sure what's happening sometimes all right good not bad idea okay so let me just explain to you the reason why did I place the trade right here so looking at the 30 minute time frame what we can see here is simply a resistance level and this resistance as well and we are having the wick here and the wick here so now if I want to draw a resistance zone here let me draw let me draw the resistance zone it's gonna look like this it's gonna look like that so that is actually a resistance zone which I have drawn here and I have, have explained very well how to draw this zone here uh, in the video of support and resistance which I have on my channel now this zone has been breaking out by this bullish breakout candle we can see that this candle has closed above this resistance zone therefore the next candle is gonna be where this previous resistance is gonna be now the new support and most likely this means that the candle cannot close below this zone here which I have drawn here and I think that the candle is gonna continue rising go going more up until it hit that resistance so actually this trade might take some time because we are on the 30 minute time frame and still there is 24 minutes for the closure of this candle so let me just set the take profit level of 20 pips 16 pips 21 pips should be fine so that's my take profit is gonna be on 20 pips so guys that was very important trade and 
maybe we need to explain more later about the reason why did I enter this trade and how to draw the support and the resistance zones um, you know what just hold on one second I will show you the video one second yeah right here so if you go to my channel and scroll down uh, let me just show you exactly where it's actually down um, support and resistance this video right here only 19,000 views I mean that is really bad for such very important video I really advise you guys to watch this video it's gonna explain in brief what did I do and how can we draw the resistance zone and support zone of course so anyway that is that is one setup we have found let me now try to find the other setup so I will just continue scrolling between the pairs and let me just check now on the four hour chart uh, the candle is going up here it has reached a previous support level right here right here we are having a support level which was here also a support and it was also a resistance now the candle is right on it so that's very interesting let me check now on the 30 minute time frame if we have a good setup here and indeed we are having very good setup and I have placed the sell order now allow me to explain the reason on the 30 minute time frame what I saw here was a previous support and of course right here now pay attention that support has been completely breaking out by this bearish breakout candle this is the bearish breakout candle which has broken out from this previous support so now after this bearish breakout candle we are having right now the market went up here so this previous support is gonna be now a new resistance not only that we need to look at the left to confirm if this level was as strong as a resistance and sure enough we can see that here it was also a very strong resistance and here and here as well so that uh, trade here was valid of course we always have to switch to the 40 minute sorry to the 30 minute time frame um, after finding a good level on the four hour chart so since since I'm trading on the 20 pips a day strategy let me now set the take profit level look at that fantastic that's why I love trading the euro AUD look at that very small reversal and the candle is about to give me the profits that I'm that I'm seeking please don't get greedy don't set your take profit take profit level to be like that uh, and getting greedy because it's giving a lot of pips we always have to accept that we are having a strategy and we should follow it no matter what happens so I have placed my trade right here and you can see that the 20 pips is very close it's about uh, to give me the pips that I am really uh, willing to get so now we are having two trades both uh, going well so far uh, one is break even the other one is going in profit let me now uh, try to find some other setups and this one right here nothing good here so I think I will pause this video until I find a good setup and I will share with you once I find it I think uh, the euro AUD was very close to the tech profit level it was just three pips away anyway not a problem let me see how many dollars is that it's just $18 uh, that's good comparing to the very small account size that I'm using now and again I remind you that I'm using this small account just to show the real trading experience to the beginners who just don't want to invest a lot of money in their first experience uh, when, when they are trading the live account so you guys have really good idea how much you can actually earn from entering these trades if you are uh, thinking to start moving to the live account all right so so far nothing here I can find I would avoid pound and uh, pound and ZD and pound AUD no matter how many good setups I find there I'm just gonna avoid them because they are ranging and we don't want to stuck in any ranging market so again uh, let me now pause this video and I'll be back to you once I find something good let me show you the setup I have found for the NZD CAD and actually I'm gonna place the trade right now of buy and I will uh, explain to you now the reason I just uh, place it so I will not lose the setup so for the NZD CAD what I saw here was here a previous resistance which was also a previous support so we can see that this previous support has kept its position as a support right after the breakout candle from this resistance level so again we are having here a resistance level like that 
that resistance has been completely broken out by this bullish breakout candle and then after that that support level here kept its position as a support so we are having right here a support number one now the market is attempting to create a support number two so again that is all on the four hour chart let me now move to the 30 minute time frame now what we can see here is very simple we are having here a price action this one here which I have explained many times that this price action usually indicating a bullish breakout reversal so we can expect now from the market to actually reverse and continue rising more up not only that but we can also here see a hammer candle that's also indicating a possibility of a bullish reversal so even though that I am on the uh, 30 minute time frame we can see that we already have one two three three attempts already and I'm on the fourth attempt that is actually totally wrong it's not on my strategy list however sometimes we just have to be realistic and following what the market is providing for us as I said the price action on the 30 minute time frame indicating a really good possibility of a bullish reversal therefore let me just set now that take profit level to be 20 pips if possible and I think 17 maximum 16 maximum is 16 which we can get from this trade however I need to explain again that even though we are using the 20 pips a day strategy that doesn't really mean that you have you must get 20 pips from each trade no you have to be realistic as well as I said now so what, what, what we're having here that I have placed my trade on the support level and I should of course exit my trade at the nearest resistance which is laying right here so if I set my take profit level to be higher than that resistance like that which is now 20 pips I'm actually risking losing the trade I'm risking to lose it because the candle might actually reverse after hitting that resistance so it might hit this resistance level and then reverse and falling down and eventually I will end up losing the trade why because I got greedy so just be safe and just select the reasonable take profit level which is close to your uh, trade and that is actually here I think the safest thing is gonna be about 14 pips which is totally fine let's now see the other trades Euro AUD is trying to go up I don't think it's gonna close above this level however just to be uh, safe to myself and to my followers let me just set the stop loss to be as well of 20 pips as I have explained before 22 pips okay uh, as I have explained before when you are using the 20 pips a day strategy always set your take profit and your stop loss to be both of them as 20 pips so I'm gonna set here also a stop loss of 20 pips I usually don't use a stop losses however I just want to be sure that the follow the followers can apply the strategy uh, peacefully because the stop loss is the most common question that I'm getting about my strategies so so far three trades are opened now let me pause this video and I'll be back to you later to show you how these uh, trades hopefully they are gonna return sorry hopefully they are gonna turn to be actually profits so as I told you we can see here that the trades are now going in profit and please pay attention the candle did not close the candle of the cat gpy did not close below the zone which i have just drawn right front of you so this zone here is very strong and that's why we can see now the next candle is actually going up and it's now breaking out from that resistance now this resistance has become here the new support and right now we can see the candle is moving up here so it is really important to pay attention to the support and the resistance zones because um once you master drawing the support and resistance zones you will be able to identify the levels and you can actually place trades like that you can identify if this candle was <clears throat> if this trade or this candle uh, has been breaking out from the resistance or it is just reversing from the resistance we can see now <clears throat> the euro aud is almost touching the take profit level it's very close i think i'm gonna close the trade with the profit right now yeah just to be sure i just want to, i just don't like risking uh, and uh, waiting for the candle since it barely touched my take profit level i will accept it and i have closed the trade with a good profit 
good profit of course compared to the very small account size that I'm using right now so uh, now we're having these two trades still going uh, in profit so far let me now pause the video and I'll be back to you later to show you what will gonna happen with these two trades look at that right now the cat gpy is going up it's approaching the take profit level as i mentioned before it's gonna go up all the way until it hit that resistance however i think 21 dollars is actually good profit from this trade and i'm gonna close the trade with profit don't ever get greedy i mean even though i said the take profit to be on 20 pips still 17 pips was just as good now we are just waiting for this trade to finish for the nzt cad and hopefully by the end of this trade the account will be uh, more than $300 and I can end the day with a good profit. So let me now again pause the video and hopefully I'll be back to you uh, later to show you the good profit we have made. So let me tell you what just happened. Uh, as you can see, um, the NZD CAD was very close to the stop loss. It almost touched it, touched it and then reversed. So luckily we are still in the trades. However, I think it's the time that we should uh, make some backup plan. And I think I'm gonna trade. Um, I think I'm gonna open another trade just to be sure, because I just want to be safe and want to be sure that we can end this video in good profit. Therefore, what I see here is a simply support number two, and on the 30 minute time frame, all seems good. I'm gonna place the trade right away. Now, allow me to explain to you what I just did for the USD CAD. What happened here is simply like that. What we can see here is, on the one hour chart, we had here a previous resistance. That resistance has become here a break, uh, uh, a support level. However, let's pay attention here to the details. Let me just zoom in and, sh and show you. So, um, one second. All right, that's better. So as you can see that we have the resistance level right here, but however, we're having the support level right here as well and here as well. So what we are having here is two support uh, supports levels. One is right here and the other one is right here. Now, what happened here also? We can see that we are having right here a small resistance. That small resistance has become here the new support after this previous resistance. Therefore, what we are seeing right now on the one hour time frame is that we are having here a support number one. And right now I have placed my trade on a support number two. As simple as that, you have to pay attention to, de to the details. They are very important because uh, sometimes you actually might make mistakes because you were not uh, aware about how these candles can be, uh, or how can, how can you read these candles. Uh, let me just check the other trade right now. I think this one is gonna hit the stop loss. Uh, th that's normal, that's fine, no problem at all. We are traders of course, and of course when we are losing a trade we can make a profit and recover from the next trade so now i have entered the with this trade for buy on the usd cad let me now just drag that uh, the line here to set my take profit level this is 20 pips if i'm not mistaken or oh, 40 pips hold on i'm just trying to set the take profit level to be on 20 pips and that's fine so our target has been set to 20 pips and this one here is very close to the stop loss i mean i'm not gonna close it until it hit actually the stop loss so we are having right now two trades running let me now pause this video and by the way yeah i just forgot to remind you that once we are seeing the support candles right here if we see the candle reversing most likely the reverse is gonna continue all the way until the candle hit this previous support level and from that point we can expect another pullback and the candles gonna fall down so the pullback is not gonna hold for so long it's gonna hold until only hit this previous support level which has been of course below, uh, followed by this bearish breakout candle so uh, two trades right now both of them not going well we will just wait and see what will gonna happen and until then let me now pause this video and i'll be back to you later to show you what will gonna happen Forgive me guys because I'm going to place another buy order for the USD CAD because it's uh, obviously gonna reverse and go up to hit the take profit level. Look at that, yes. Um, just seeing this uh, green candle here and this price action, 
all indicating that the market is going to continue rising and as you can see it did indeed i just placed the other trade because i really want to recover the losses we have made or possibly gonna be made from the first trade so just to be safe i have placed the other trade here i placed it a little bit, little bit late however look at that the candle is going up it's about to hit the take profit level that is very good so so far we are in good condition now this loss has been recovered and the account is now above 300 dollars i think i'm gonna close the trade yes yes no problem close the trade in loss however not a problem at all the account is now above 300 dollars now 308 dollars and by that i have recovered all the losses have been made don't look at the uh, that the lost trade look at the total please stop being so much greedy you see, maybe now you will think oh but he lost the trade why he accept the loss of course you will accept the loss why not it's a part of the game it's part of trading you will lose sometimes but you can also recover that is exactly what i just did here i lost one trade however i made the recovery from two trades i have recovered all the losses plus very good profit so by the end i have made this account reached above 300 dollars and i can stop trading for today tomorrow will resume and so on so that is i hope by that video by this video you have seen how you can actually trade using the small account and even so if you have any losses happening somewhere you can always recover from another trade so in the end i really hope this trading session was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching